Hi everyone, welcome to this week's In My Mug. Um, as is last week's, this was pre-recorded before this whole isolation thing kicked off, so it's a little bit different. I thought I'd introduce you to my isolation hair. Um, it's really interesting, isn't it, what happens when you can't get your hair cut. Um, there's much bigger problems out there for people to worry about. Uh, want to give you a heads up about next week. Next week it's going to be uh, a little bit of a difference in my mug because we're recording from here and got a few ideas to make it a bit fun. So please tune in for that. Stay safe. Uh, missing you all. Uh, please comment. Uh, put it wherever you're watching this. Send us an email or go on YouTube and leave a comment and stuff. It'd be great to hear about how you're uh, doing with your coffee things during isolation. And uh, let's get into this week's show. Now, I know you all hate it when I do this, but this week we have a copy from Ecuador! So this week's coffee comes from Ecuador and it's the first time in a little while we've had an Ecuador. Uh, and when we have had them, they've not been so common. It comes from a farm called Finca Perla Chiquita, uh, which is owned by Fabian Lomas and his family. Um, Fabian has been in the coffee industry for around about 15, 20 years. Uh, originally in Quito, he, the capital of Ecuador, he was working as a, a, a trader, buyer and seller of coffee. Um, but since then, he's moved back around about uh, eight years ago, uh, moved his family back home um, and uh, set up his own farm, Perla Chiquita. Um, during that time, his family have also grown up and his oldest son, who graduated from school in 2016, He's now working on the farm, helping with the agronomy, uh, helping with the management of the farm um, and the management of the people working there. Um, and it's become a real kind of uh, family setup. When visitors come to visit the farm, um, Fabian makes, and I think um, makes is probably the word, but his daughter and his son be the hosts and take them round to kind of let them, you know, be part of the farm and feel that they're kind of uh, interacting with, with the visitors who are coming and that can be agronomists, that can be coffee buyers, that can be exporters and all of those things. So he's really trying to include the whole family um, in the setup there. Um, this is a coffee that we had last year and um, really liked and we've really struggled to get consistency in Ecuador. Um, the coffees can be magnificent one year and not so good the next. This is the first time we've repeated a relationship. Um, and it's with great thanks to our exporters um, from Colombia who have now branched into Ecuador who are helping people like Fabio um, get that consistency of their processing, get that consistency of crop, uh, make sure that they're doing all of the husbandry and all of the, um, you know, the picking processes that they should be doing. And I think it's amazing when you've got somebody who you can rely on at Origin to help producers so we can rely on great coffee supply. Somebody who I've never relied on in my whole life is Roland, but we can rely on him bringing us a daft fact of the week. So time to ask Roland for a daft fact of the week. Roland, go. Did you know that Ecuador is the largest exporter of bananas, exporting more than 20% of the world's bananas? Yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas. Lots of bananas today. Okay, so this week's Instagram of the week comes from our very good friends at Candid, whose birthday is on the 18th and 19th of April. And they are in Stafford and they serve has been coffee. So you should definitely pop along and see them uh, if you're ever in Stafford. Um, and you should definitely follow them on Instagram as well. They're lovely, lovely people. Um, so speaking of lovely, lovely people, we should get into Fabian and his family's coffee. And I don't have masses of experience of cupping uh, Ecuadorian coffees. The ones I have cupped, I've not enjoyed so much, but this one I really love. It's got um, a Demerara sugar kind of sweetness to it. So that brown heavy sugar sweetness. It's got a little bit of mango on the acidity, a, a little bit of lime zest as well. Um, incredibly sharp and clean, but just finishes with a really good body, like a really solid base that you can make a great brewed coffee from. I'd love to pull a couple of shots with it too and just see how that brown sugar translates on an espresso machine. Um, 
But uh, great to have a second year of in Ecuador. Uh, great to start building some kind of relationship there. I guess I'm going to have to go and meet uh, and, um, the family at some point in, uh, in the near future when I'm passing maybe Ecuador. Um, but really good to see this coffee and I think there's uh, a great future ahead for it. Thank you for joining me as always. And do remember, life is too short for bad coffee. You could not laugh when I say it. <laughs> I'll do my best to hold it together. <laughs>